Yo, what up squad? Today we're doing an Escape from Tarkov video, which I know I haven't done in a while, but when I did used to do them, they got really well received, so we're going to do one again. Going in with pretty small kit, just uh, rank 3 armor vest, uh, decent AK, you know, I got a big ass backpack, but that's about it. And we're going into the new map called Labs. Now Labs is pretty difficult because normally there's AI, like this game is AI and players, and you can pretty easily tell the difference most of the time. In Labs, they have upped the AI difficulty and called them Raiders. Now these Raiders are ridiculous. They seek into you in huge packs of things, super geared, amazing aim, and they just shoot through everything and just obliterate you. Uh, on, on this map, because I played it quite a bit, on this map, you are definitely more scared of raiders than you are of players. But uh, I want to showcase the map for you guys, because last time I uploaded a video on Tarkov was like six months ago, and... Uh, and I just, I didn't even, I didn't showcase anything. I was just playing. Uh, granted, I was really good back then, and I'm not so good now. So, pardon my de my decision making. But I'll, uh, I'll try to walk you through the map. Assuming the game is going to start, and I don't get disconnected. A lot of people, the reason I'm not wearing a helmet, is because a lot of people think that uh, helmets are pretty useless in terms of gear. Unless... You're going like really, really kitted. Like you're bringing out the million dollar armor set. You know, the fort armor, which is the strongest armor in the game. And stuff like that. Um, a lot of people think that it's not worth it. So let's go ahead. Maneuver our way through this map. You guys aren't going to know where I'm going. So just understand that I am definitely maneuvering. Um, Nate over there already. Player right there. Don't know if I got him. I'm gonna run in this weapons testing room real quick. I need a key to unlock it, but it's a pretty great room. Close the door behind me so I don't get snuck up on. Ooh, Vulcan, that's a really good sight. That was a suppressed M4, I believe. Grab this, uh, these attachments that are worth a decent amount of money. I hear some coming up on me. Oh, that was a flashbang. Let's grab this loot, and then uh, and then we'll go out there and we'll check it out. What is that? Stainless elite, huh? Whatever. Reload our mag. I don't want to go out that door. That door is fucking freaky. That's an eight. Okay, let's run back up here. These are raiders. These are raiders! These are raiders! I can't move, I can't move, I can't move, I can't move. Oh my god, those are raiders. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. See, they have names like this. See, the raiders... Oh, I actually did kill that one player. The raiders are just insane uh just groups of of scavs that they, they spawn in all at the same time and they uh and they're just so they're so strong they have extra health like more health than a normal player would and they have really good armor so it's really hard to get like two or three of them in one spray like there was three of them that spawned right in front of me in a line uh and i killed two of them but i ran out of ammo and i couldn't drop the third and then because someone hit uh there the way you extract in this map is you have to hit all these different points and every time you hit a point to extract all uh, raiders spawn in so there's raiders on the other side of the the like villa area so i was shooting down these this line I killed two, and then I was hiding from the third behind that pillar. And while I was hiding, other scabs from this side started just beaming me. And you can't get away from that, man. I had I had both of my legs blown out and both of my arms blown out. That shit's that shit's tough. 
Now I'm just doing a hatchet run. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can make a little bit of money back, and I'll show you guys the uh, the medical room. So in case you're wondering, the weapons room that I just opened for you, uh, that room is it's a pretty good room to make some money because the attachments on the table are pretty good. But a lot of times, not a lot of times, but I guess like a few times that I've gone in there, because I've only gone in there maybe 30 times, but like three or four of those times, so like 10%, uh, there's been just fully modded out M4s sitting on the weapon rack ready for your looting, you know, ready for you to just take them and then frag with. So it's a pretty good room to have a key for. And the keys aren't that expensive if you play this game. Um... The lab room, the medical room key that I'm going to use, that I'm going to show you in this raid, is about $70,000, which isn't a lot. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's not. Um, and then the weapons testing key that I showed you last raid is actually also seventy dollars to $80,000. So they're both pretty cheap. Um, I'm actually, because I got this spawn... Oh, big guy over there. Because I got this spawn right here, I'm actually going to open weapon testing first. See if I can maybe see that one of those M4s on the... Oh, I can, I can. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Give me the M4. It's not loaded, though. What is this? Upper receiver. I need ammo. I need... M oh, my God, two M4s. This M4 is loaded. Shh. Nobody tell. Nobody tell on me. Don't tell on me. What ammo is this? I'm ready to... 762. How many how many shots do I have left? 20. 20 shots left. Okay. Um well shit. If you don't want that, I want this suppressor. Alright, let's look in these ammo containers and see if we can find any. Okay. Stop bugging me. I'm looting. More. So, I'm going to come back for this M4, but because it has no ammo, I need this. Oh man, it wasn't on fully auto. I wasn't able to cock back and set it to fully auto fast enough. But that was, I mean, that was nice. That was a fun raid. I like that. Both of those M4s. I wish I could have gotten out. That M4 that I showed you, the uh, the one that had all the ammo in it. Not, not the one that looked like it was a Space Invader gun. But the one that had all the ammo in it. Um... That thing sells for like 130k. Like basically, if you can find that weapon, it pays for both of your keys. For the medical room and for the for the weapons testing room. But we're going to see one more time, one more run through of labs. See if we can maybe get a medical room spawn. And uh, so I can show you guys there. Because they added these new things in the game since the last time I've played and since the last time I've shown you guys. They have these new things called stimulants. Which I never use because they're for rich people. And I'm broke. But um, they're called stimulants. And basically they can either boost your healing, boost your stamina, boost your strength, uh, give you like health regen. You know, there's a lot of benefits to it. But also there's drawbacks. Once, you're, once your stimulant runs out, I think it lasts for five minutes, maybe a little bit less. I'm not sure. Um, once your stimulant runs out, you have negative effects associated with it so like you can pop adrenaline for more stamina and more speed but once you once your adrenaline shot runs out you start losing your hydration really fast and if your hydration hits zero you die so quick so fast <laughs> like if your hydration hits zero in a raid you're basically dead there's nothing you can really do about it um and then i think the health regen one stops your stamina your stamina gain when it's done, like it, it lowers your stamina gain. So like, yeah, your heal, you're healing a little bit uh, just passively, which is amazing, by the way, fantastic. But when it runs out, you're not gonna be able to run 
very much. You have to walk everywhere, which is really risky in this game. Because being slow and being predictable is just awful in this game. Which is why I've died both times I went to weapon testing and stayed in there to loot. Because I got greedy. And I wanted to see if I could get ammo for the M4s. But I couldn't, obviously. I died. But, you know, whatever. So let's see if we can get a good spawn this time for the weapons room. Cause, or, the, or for the med room. The weapons room is on one side of the villa and the med room is on the other side. You know where I got shot in the first raid? From those uh, those raiders? That's where the med room is. And I actually got the same spawn three times in a row. But I'm actually going to try to try to show you guys med room this time. Even if I die for it. Just so if you do play this game, you'll know where it is. So there's this one wall with all these... Uh, I don't, I don't really want to call them paintings because I think they're just big-ass TV screens. Um, and you're just going to follow this down. And then there's going to be this thing. This has labs on it. I'm going to die probably right now. Not dead. Pog champ. Unlock this. Close this. Okay. And then in here... There's all of this medical supplies. There's IFAX. I'm getting shot at. Ow, ow, ow. Stop being a dick. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh. <laughs> I tried to stab him in the head, dude. Whatever. That's okay. We got some IFAX out of it. Which I can't buy yet, which is really good. So yeah, and then one more thing that I want to showcase. Basically, I showcased the two big rooms in labs. Like, there's another run, but I don't have the key to it. And it costs, like, about 20 million rubles. Which, obviously, I don't have because I have 1.4 million. But, um, one last thing is the flea market. You can literally search for any item you want. And there's a price associated to it. Let's say I want a fort armor. The best armor in the game. 6p4 armor. Best armor in the game, right now, if I lower it by price, cost about three hundred and six or 70,000 rubles. So if I wanted it, I just buy it. And then I go back to my character, and there it is, just sitting there. It's amazing. It's crazy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little like intro to Tarkov again, because I haven't done it in a while, or intro to Labs. Uh, if you did, make sure to like and comment so I can, uh, I can actually see what you guys are thinking about when, uh, when I upload these kinds of videos. And if you want to see more, please tell me because I would love to do more because I play it so much anyways. So, um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, guys, peace.